Last four crew and privateers, this is Robert Half Life. And just pirate. And today's a Sunday episode because it's Roger the Pirate's birthday. Another year older. Yep. Born in the year 1500. <laughs> I wish. Been the last 500. 522. Yep, spent 485 years at sea. And decided to be, decided to come to the world recently, so. Anyway. <laughs> this is Cooper's, uh, um, session. Vintage ale. Yep. Broke free from Baby Jones's locker and came and came above the ground. <laughs> anyway, this is for his birthday. We can have a Cooper's Brewery 2022 Vintage Ale. Yeah, every year they Cooper's always bring out a vintage ale. Yep. Like it's got a best of at the after date, which means it tastes better after a certain date. Yep. And this one's best after date is. I can hardly tell. I think it's July this year. So it's best after July, so obviously it's well after that now. It's seven and a half seven and a half percent alcohol or two one point yep. one standard drinks. And it says here, using the finest ingredients, our own Cooper's malt, prime season oh, prime seasonal hops, and our cherished ale yeast. This naturally conditioned ale exhibits a generous, well balanced aroma and flavour. Dr. Tim Cooper, Managing Director and Chief Brewer. Made in South, um, Regen, Regency Park, South Australia. Oh yeah, it's Regency Park, yeah. I know there's yeah. a, I think there's a Regent's Park in New South Wales, but... Yeah. Anyway, 2.1 steer to drink some from this alcohol. Established yeah, yeah. 1862, 160 years ago. Got a bottle opener, because uh, you might have to just uh, quickly turn on sun just slowly roll it over a bit just to get the yeast from the bottom just to feed, come through don't i'm not, not going to shake it or anything but there we go i can see in the light you probably can't see it on the screen but there's a cloudy finish now oh, yes. <laughs> that would be the yeast um coming out of the um hmm? yeah i know put my head on your thing and elbow <laughs> yep you're my there brother you that's, that's, a, that's a very nice Smell last one beer. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, now the pour. So, will it, will it pause? Yeah, Roger's one had a, had, had a catastrophic flight, <laughs> catastrophic um, breach. Mine, <sighs> mine didn't. And how can you pour so much better than I could? I don't, know, I don't know about a good pour, but a very, um, very, um, very enigmatic head on it. <laughs> That's most likely from the yeast being overly, like, not overly done, but very, um, spending such a long time on the bottle, it just ate, ate all the sugariness of the, um, yeah. other parts of it, and then just freaking fermented and fermented and fermented and just, yeah, yeah so much. Yeah. And just had a huge, um, Carbonation, that's my guess of why it does that. I you know, it smells like... So basic, basically it's ye yeast farts. It smells <laughs> like... Anyway. Smart as Robo Fluff Fluff. It smells, it smells pretty good. Dr. Tim Cooper. Made this, hey? Yeah, you know, if, you, if you're eating like a... It's good with like a red, red meat or something. I'd, I'd have a red meat anyway, like a steak yeah. or whatever, but you know, it's a very, it's a very... Big, big juicy steak you reckon, Robo, because <laughs> I know you like Tebow Speaks and the stuff. Pretty much. Anyway, it's, without further ado, I might as well give it a try. Mm. Australian beer in a German glass. Great. I'm trying to look for a light source to see how... Well, it's clear, it was pretty cloudy, I can tell. <laughs> It's very, very cloudy, nice and smooth, and got good, um, got good, um, what do you call it? Must have good areas to, to um, grow, um, to, to make it, and the water filtered through pretty good. It's a pretty rich colour. <laughs> yeah. A rich dark colour. I like how the water filters through pretty good in this beer too, in Australia. Ooh, it's, a, it's pretty... Yeah, I call this drink. A German beer in a... Um, not German beer, Australian beer. 
Doing Glasgow, he's doing for an Aussie bee. Mm, like it's a very heavy bee, like it tastes yeah. like it's really, really, really strong and really full yeah. on, yeah. So it's not, it's not one of them. PCBs. It's definitely not your pale ale. <laughs> yeah, because the two beers I like is Australian beers and the German beers. Mm -hmm. I know that may be a little bit different, but there's two type of beers I like. Because mm. Germany has got this, um, made of a few simple ingredients and in that, the yeah. pure tea or whatever it is. But, and that, they do not use yeast in their beers most of the time. I know, because they made it out of purity or, yeah, the look Purity laws. Yeah. It doesn't use yeast, so it takes a longer time to... Yeah, to, to make ferment, it, yeah. ferment and... and yeah. Australia, Water, yeah. hops, malt and barley. Yeah. This Coopers is pretty good. It's pretty good, strong. But yeah, there's a very strong taste. Yeah, very full on taste too. Because I know we get it. Yeah, we're not gone. Right, mate? You finish off for the you guys. I know we got a 24 pack of these. And <laughs> probably take us right through the Christmas before we drink it all. Take us this time next year. Yeah, probably would. Anyway, um, I'll pause it and then I'll get back to you for the final review. Final verdict. Okay, we're back. <laughs> oh, strong drink. Yeah, but... pretty strong beer, yeah. Yeah, like I said, yeah, I don't want to give tips before I get my final verdict. <laughs> anyway, um, so how do you rate it? Like the, um, Ooh. how strong it was? I feel like it hit me hard, I tell you that. Mm. Right, every, the more we drink this, the more we're feeling. I can't drink 24 in one go because I'm Andre the Giant, the wrestler here. <laughs> <laughs> Who played and drink 24 in about 15 minutes. A couple of hours. Ooh. Ooh. It's a pretty cool strong beer, I tell you that. I'll give it about 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10 as well. Very highly recommended. Very strong. <laughs> yeah, it comes out every year, it's just vintage 2021. 20, I know we've got, I know we forgot to do the vintage AL last year, although we did it, but 2021, but. In a word to the wise, do not. Drink this on an empty stomach. You, you, you'll definitely be um, flying flying in the sky. You had breakfast this morning, didn't you, Robert? Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you, your head will be in the sky if you had it, had it without any food. I'll tell you that. Yeah, have a 24 pack in one go. Unless you're Andre the Giant, you'd be knocked out after about 10 in one go. <laughs> Unless you're Andre the Giant the wrestler. Yeah, have about 10 of these. You'll you, you probably be stop, stumbling down town with a traffic cone on your head or something. <laughs> I know you're quite a joker, but you could, if you want you might get through this well, you know you think, I know you sort of, sort of think joking in that. <laughs> 9 out of 10 it is, pretty strong, <laughs> nice flavour, full strong body of beer too. I think the only one that, that I've ever had that probably even, probably nearly beats this is that Trappist beer on my birthday. Oh, yeah, the, um, Dutch beer. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty strong beer. I know that. Anyway, um, well, that's our review for today. Next week we'll be doing the Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo, oh, it's already fit. It's already been filmed, but to watch that, you bit, better tune in next week. Um, Friday the second of December. Yep. Until then, it's goodbye from me. Yeah, him. Goodbye from me. Goodbye him. Yep. There you go. Have a good laugh and see you next time. Cheers.